going on Halos family? So tonight I am really excited because I finally get to make my white chicken chili. I don't often get to make it because here in Southern California it's kind of between 70 and 80 degrees all the time and I have a hard time making stews and soups and chilies and stuff when it's so hot. I kind of feel like I just have to eat a salad all the time and I'm kind of tired of salad. So I'm really excited. I don't know if you guys can see it is raining outside. I don't know, take a little, oh yeah. No, I think it stopped for a little bit. It's been raining since yesterday, all day. And um, so last night we had some beef stew. Tonight we are having white chicken chili. I'm gonna kind of just go over this very quickly. I, I am gonna leave the recipe in the description box below. You guys can do that, but I'm just gonna kind of show you pointers on, um, on making it. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's get started. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna just heat up my pan, or my pot, my like Dutch oven, um, to, I don't know, medium high heat or so. And I'm gonna add about two to three tablespoons of oil. I'm just gonna kinda eyeball it here cause I've made this quite a few times and just can eyeball that. So I'm gonna let that warm up and then for my ingredients, I have, I already pre-cut these obviously. This is two onions. I know it sounds like a lot, but they do cook down and so it's not gonna have like an, a big onion flavor to it. And then I also have um, two green bell peppers already chopped and ready to go. And then I also have three tablespoons, or I'm sorry, three cloves um, of garlic. It looks like a lot. The cloves are really, really huge. So we've got those. I'm gonna go ahead Wait for this to kind of heat up. I'm sure it's probably almost there. All right guys, as you can see, my oil is kind of starting to bubble up. So we're gonna add in our onions, two of them. There we go. And I'm also gonna add in my green pepper at the same time, just like that. And then I'm also going to add in all of my garlic, three or four cloves or so. We're just gonna let that cook until the onions kind of become clear, translucent. Um, they're just gonna cook down for probably five to seven minutes. One tip, cooking tip, never put your garlic in first with the oil because um, sometimes the oil is too hot and it'll actually burn your garlic, which will then make your garlic tastes bitter and you will have to throw everything out and start over. So I always add my onions and anything else that I'm cooking first and then I put my garlic on top so then as everything starts to cook down it gets the garlic flavor but you don't burn your garlic and make it taste bitter. So anyway I'm gonna go ahead and just let this cook down for five to seven minutes and then I'll show you my next step on adding in some green chilies and some spices. Well, as you guys can see, my onions and my green bell peppers have cooked down quite nicely. I did add a little bit of salt um, to them beforehand after I got off camera. I just realized I forgot to put salt in, so I added a little bit of salt. Now we're gonna go ahead and add in our other ingredients. Um, I'm going to add in a can of diced green chili. This is the mild. I know they also have a hot one. And this is about seven ounces, seven or eight ounces. I think it just depends on which one um, you do get. So, but you don't want to drain it. You just want to add the whole thing in there. It offers good, good flavor. So I've just added my green chilies in there. I'm also going to add in one tablespoon of cumin. Seems like a lot, but it adds a really, really good flavor in there. And then all you're gonna wanna do is just kind of mix that around, just like that, there we go. Let it cook up for a few minutes and I'm gonna get um, my six cups of water. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get ready and add that in there too. And then we're just gonna let it cook for oh, about an hour or so. And then um, add in um, our last ingredients, the Catalini beans and the rotisserie chicken. Well guys, I went ahead and I added in my liquids. Now for this recipe, because there is seven of us and we all eat like a full bowl, I go ahead and I add in eight cups of water. Maybe for a smaller family, you could probably do four. Eight cups will still give all of us probably one or two bowls and then also leftovers, which is always nice, um, you know, for the next day. Um, but I went ahead, added in my water, I added eight cups, and then I always use this instead of buying cans of chicken broth. 
I buy it in powdered form. It looks like this. I buy it at Costco. I think it's about $3.99 or $3.98, somewhere around there. And really, it is a teaspoon for every cup of water. Now, if you want less salty, say if you're doing eight cups of water, you could do six teaspoons um, of the chicken bouillon. So then you can kind of control the salt a little bit more. If you haven't added any salt and you know that you're going to be adding other ingredients, you can always you know, do eight and eight, whatever, equal, equal parts. So I went ahead and added eight teaspoons and eight cups of water because I have rotisserie chicken I'm going to add in there and I'm still going to add some beans in there in a little bit. So I think the salt will be good. I'm going to get ready and taste it and see where we're at. I'm actually going to let this cook for about, about an hour or so. Um, and then I'll add in like the last 30 minutes, I'll go ahead and add in some beans. I got two cans of Catalini beans right there. And then I also took a, um, rotisserie, I got a rotisserie chicken from Costco today. I took it all off and I just have the meat and then I'm just going to throw that in at the end just to kind of warm it up. And that's it, you guys. It's so simple. And this could really be done in 30 minutes um, if you really wanted it to. I have the time right now, so I'm just going to let it cook for a while, about an hour, as I said. And then, um, you know, we'll go from there and add in the rest of the ingredients. But this is a super super cost efficient meal it makes a lot and it's super quick and so um as i said i'm gonna let this cook for a little bit and then i'll show you at the very end um what the last ingredients that go in i forgot to add i also added some lime juice in there um i just had a very small lime i just squeezed it right on in there and so um you don't have to add lime but it does add a really good flavor to it all right guys we are back it's been about an hour and i'm getting ready to throw my chicken into my chili um you can see it right here this was just a costco whole chicken um that i just took off when i got home i just took all the meat off and um just put it in the fridge until i was ready i also have two cans of catalini beans that i rinsed and drained um right there these guys are gonna go in um with it and that's what it's looking like at the moment you can see it's just been kind of cooking it makes a really good flavor when you just let the broth part just kind of do its thing and cook and soak up all the um all the ingredients and kind of just like let it mix together um you know because it makes a really good broth so i'm gonna put my chicken in and my chi and my beans we're gonna get those in i'm just gonna dump them all in right there I don't know if I can do this with one hand. There we go. Sorry, guys. I have to hold one and pour with the other. And you don't really want this to be on like a big, um, like rumbling boil. You just want this to be very, very light boil. Just you, because right now all you're doing is just heating everything through. You don't want the beans to all break apart and stuff like that. So I'm going to let this just sit. It's on right now. I've got it on medium, medium heat, low to medium. And so I'm just gonna let that sit in there for a little bit. As soon as we're ready to eat, I'm gonna show you what toppings that we put on it and how we kind of dress ours up. I really like this recipe because it's very versatile. I like this too because if you have picky eaters in the family, we have five kids, not everybody always likes the same thing and so this way you can add all kinds of stuff we offer tortilla chips tomatoes cheese sour cream um salsa my husband likes sriracha i have cilantro so we kind of add enough we give every kid a bowl but then yet they can pick their toppings so they like it and they will eat it so that's why i like this recipe it's super versatile the kids like it it's not spicy you can add more spice to it, but with us, because we have such a range between people who like spicy and people who don't like any spice at all, obviously the baby doesn't want any spice in his food. But um, So this is a good way for everyone to kind of have a little bit of everything and they can pick and choose what they like. So I'm going to let this cook for a little bit longer and then when we get ready to serve it up, I'll show you how I put what I put in mine and I don't know, we'll try it and see how it tastes. We'll see you guys back in a little bit. All right, Halos family, our chili is done. It is complete. This is what it looks like. It's nice and thick. This was a whole chicken, remember, and two cans of beans. So it, it definitely gets thick it, thicker. <laughs> Sorry for that. His cape fell off. Say hi, Sam Sam. <laughs> 
Go see Sissy. Just one thing, if you guys do have leftovers and you put them in the fridge, um, after it, they cool down, the chili will become very thick. You might have to add a little bit of water to it. But anyway, here's our finished product. I got it in a bowl. This is kind of how I like mine. I use a little bit of pepper jack. We got cheddar, we got tomatoes, we got tortilla chips. I let the kids kind of decorate their own on whatever they feel like having. I'm gonna take a bite because this looks super good. That's hot too. How cold are you gonna get? Gotta go mm. in for the full detail. Oh my gosh, it's so good. If you guys do put pepper jack on it because it gives it just a little bit of spice but not too hot. Come on, try, babe. Tell me what you think. I'm already not gonna like it, I can tell you that much. Really? <laughs> never mind. Never mind, Halo's family. We're not gonna talk to him I'll, I'll and show him. You know I'm just kidding, babe. Your cooking's the best. I hope you burn your tongue. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Just kidding. It's really good. Good stuff? Mm-hmm. It's really good. All right, Halo's family. Thanks again for watching. I will leave um, the recipe in the description box below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share down below. See you guys next time. Bye!